so now we are in the third problem here we are supposed to find the uh, uh, find the value of k at the breakaway point okay we are supposed to find the value of k at the breakaway point not just the breakaway point the breakaway point would be yes equal to something we'll get and the value of k is what we're supposed to find here at at this s yes, what is the value of k okay let me show you the question for this and this is the question uh, the open loop transfer function of a unity feedback control system okay again we are given with the open loop transfer function of a unity unity feedback control system the value of k at the breakaway point so here in this question not like the previous question where we start with finding the breakaway points that is the value of s at that point but here we are to find the value of k that's the only difference for, for the this uh, in, in this problem when we compare with the previous one all right so let us proceed we know the procedure very well and uh, as i told you you can always find the zeros and the poles here there's no zero so we go for the poles so poles for this uh, for this uh, equation would be the denominator is uh, let us do it minus b plus or minus root of b square uh, minus 4 ac that's 4 into 5 20 okay divided by 2a so this happens to be minus 5 plus or minus root of 5 right so root of uh, 5 root 5 divided by 2 so what would be your uh, root 5 let me use a calculator and see what is the answer for this so uh, minus 5 minus uh, okay let us first find root 5 root 5 is 2.236 so this is uh, minus 5 plus or minus 2.236 actually so let me put it as a 2.23 okay let's have it divide by 2 so now this would be minus 5 uh, minus 5 minus this would be 7.2 let me minus 7.236 uh, divided by 2 comma so this would be um and the other one is minus when you just do this when you take uh, minus 5 it's minus 2.763 divided by 2 right so when you simplify this further get uh, both the both the roots are in negative only so minus 1.38 and when i divide this one seven point two three six divided by 2 gives me three point 3.618 all right so the earth and the minus is over here okay so that we got the poles uh, 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 so we can draw our uh, we can draw a root locus with this i mean not the exact root, lo root locus but at least the path of the root locus with this okay so the root uh, there are no zeros two roots and one is at uh, minus one point something minus 1.38 and the other one is at minus three point and these are all real roots there is no j value right these are all real roots so uh, 6 1 or let me say 3 6 2 okay. so these are the values okay uh, here until here there is zero the sum of the poles and zeros are zero so there's no maybe no locus existing at that point for sure and here it's an odd number so surely there is a locus but we have to know the direction the locus surely uh, one locus would originate from one pole the other locus would be originating from other pole and so sh this is where the breakaway point would be present okay only if we find the centroid and all that the direction of the locus we can identify but now um, we know this locus would go to infinity break it will break away somewhere in between minus 3 to minus 1 and uh, go to infinity because there are no zeros so the both the zeros we, it will be at some infinite points all right it will reach the infinite okay now we got some idea where the look where the breakaway point would be present okay so now let us go and proceed to proceed to find the breakaway point itself so let's do that so first we need to find the closed loop transfer function closed loop transfer function would be we know the formula g of s divided by one plus g of s into h of s because it's a unity feedback system h of s is one so i'll just put g divided by one plus g so this would be uh, k divided by s square plus 5s plus 5 the whole divided by 1 plus k divided by s square plus 5s 5s plus 5 all right so when we simplify this further we can take lcm and the denominator will be cancelled so what we'll have is uh, on taking lcm the numerator becomes like this 
plus k all right so this is your closed loop transfer function now all that we need is a characteristic equation to proceed so let us take the characteristic equation s square plus 5 s plus 5 plus k equal to 0 now i'm, equ I'm going to equate equate to k so k equal to minus s square plus 5 s plus 5 all right so i'm going to differentiate k with respect to s so we get uh, and I'm going to equate to 0 again because I'm going to differentiate k with respect to s it's going to be 0 only so 0 equal to let minus be here 2s plus 5 till this it should be clear so 0 and I, mul uh, and I multiply 0 with minus it's going to be um, 0 only so this minus can be cancelled out so I can say dk by ds equal to 0 which is equal to 2s plus 5 so with this equation I can find the value of s. So s would be minus 5 divided by 2. So that is minus 2.5. So we found the value of s. Now what are we supposed to find? So we found s equal to minus 2.5. Is it right? Let us check it. Is it between no, my, uh, minus 3 to minus 1? Yeah. Minus 2.5 somewhere in between. So we are sure that our question answer would be right. Okay. But our answer is or the value of k not the value of yes okay not the value of the s plane value this s plane we are not finding the s plane value here we are finding the value of k for which before where wherever it breaks suppose this is a place it breaks it's 2 point minus 2.5 it breaks what is the value of k? what is the value of k over there so to find the value of k let us take the equation of k so we have an equation of k over here it's right no yeah so let us put that take that equation s square plus 5 s plus 5 so k equal to minus a square plus phi s plus phi i think so let's check yeah and so if i substitute minus 2.5 over here let's see what we're getting so we get 2.5 minus 2.5 whole square and 2.5 whole square are the same because the whole square will make it positive and phi into minus 2.5 plus phi all right so what are we getting minus and then now 2.5 squared is 25 squared uh, you will get um, 6.25 uh, and here 5 into 2.5 12.5 plus 5 so when we just do this um, I'm just going to add this in a calculator and then tell you the answer is 5 6.25 plus 5 would be 11.25 so 11.25 minus or uh, 12.5 would be minus 1.25 so minus 1.25 and this minus would become positive so it becomes 1.25 so the value of k is 1.25 so we found it all right thanks for watching if you have any uh, confusions or doubts still you can always comment in the comment section Thanks for watching.